Hi, everybody. I'm Matt Harrington of the Southwestern Vermont Chamber of Commerce. I want to welcome you to uh, this web page. Take a look around. This is all about our effort for uh, to help recruit you to Vermont. It's an awesome place to live. Um, and we have a couple programs that you can hop on, just our Vermont way of welcoming, uh, maybe showing you some of the ins and outs of our uh, individual communities in our regions. Uh, so first, uh, if you're just even mildly interested in looking at Vermont as a place to live, work, play, grow up, um, check out Stay to Stay program. There's a form field up top. And then if you just moved here, we have a welcome wagon project as well, which uh, puts uh, hosts in touch with people that just moved to Vermont to uh, have a coffee, have a bite to eat, maybe meet digitally and, uh, and just get to know Vermont a little bit more. So for uh, now, and what I wanna share with you is uh, pretty much the templated PowerPoint that we go through when we do talk with people that uh, sign up for Stay to Stay and then monthly on the first Friday of every month, we connect with people from all around the country, all around the world who are interested in moving to Vermont. So if you missed one of the phone calls or you wanna see what the phone call is like before you hop on a phone call, uh, we will go through the presentation now, but obviously uh, hopping on a real phone call with me, uh, my team, as well as other people looking at uh, how to move to Vermont is also powerful as well. So again, I encourage you to sign up uh, for uh, Stay to Stay through the form on this website. So let's hop right into that presentation. So, Normally we start, we've got some great pictures here, and this is the State of State 2021 edition, and we are located in southwestern Vermont, and so if you don't know where that is, uh, think of New England, think of the Northeast, and then even in that little diagram up above, that little corner, what is Bennington County, is considered southwestern Vermont and what we represent. Here's the team that I often uh, work with within the chamber and within our welcome centers and uh, the state uh, myself, Erica Floriani. So if you see emails or uh, have a call or even meet and greet with some of these people, always good to put a face with a name, uh, Erica, Michaela, Lewis and uh, PJ DeVito. And PJ uh, is our manager up at the State Welcome Center here in Bennington, Vermont, is where we're located on Highway 279. So if you've ever driven uh, from New York or New Jersey, Connecticut, you've come up through uh, 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 Vermont and Southern, uh, Southwestern Vermont, uh, you probably have run into PJ at one time or another at that State Welcome Center on the highway. So again, uh, just to put some faces with names, you'll probably see some of these people on the call or hear from them afterwards. Here's something to uh, kind of understand. We call it uh, Bennington County is its, uh, is its probably uh, most common name. You'll hear it often. Uh, Southwestern Vermont because of its location and geography. Uh, we often call it the Shires of Vermont. And, uh, and yes, we do get made fun of uh, as part of the Hobbit series, um, but, but the Shires really has a moniker and a namesake with this region. And it's a very uh, picturesque New England region nestled in the southwesternmost corner of Vermont, as it says. The interesting thing about Shires is every, when Vermont was formed, every county had at least one county seat or one courthouse, what was called back then as a Shire. Bennington County actually had two, one in Bennington and one in Manchester. And so that's why you have the plural, the Shires of Vermont. So if you also hear, I'm going to the Shires of Vermont or I've ever picked up one of our travel guides or go to the website, you'll also see Shires throughout um, travel and tourism, but also um, there's a lot of uh, name places in and around the region that'll use the Shires moniker as well. We are a region of 17 quintessential Vermont towns, uh, communities, hamlets, and we're connected by a scenic ribbon of highway known as Route 7A is what probably some of the locals would call it, or the Shires of Vermont Byway. And so that runs right up through the county and runs right from Pownall, which is one of our most southern towns. Uh, Bennington is, a, is one of the big shires, one of the big economic regions, up through Arlington, 
Sunderland, up through Manchester, which is the other economic hub of the county, and on through Rupert and Peru and that area in Dorset. So it runs right up through and then into Rutland County, which is the county above us. We are well known and world renowned as a four season destination for those seeking the authentic Vermont experience. I usually play a video. You'll see the videos on the website if you uh, play around on this page. So I won't play you those. So if you're hopping on this call, here's a couple just quick facts to know about Vermont. Why might you want to move to Vermont? Why are you choosing Vermont? Well, first, let's start with the fact that uh, according to Wallet Hub in 2020, it was number two in safest states in America. It was also number two in the best state to live in in CNBC survey in 2019. And it ranks number one in Forbes 2019 best state to have a baby. So maybe just some encouraging factors when we look at Vermont as a whole, um, why might you want to come to Vermont? Obviously, currently with the COVID pandemic, Vermont's doing quite well with the management of that. And, uh, and also we just happen to be a, a small state, so we're very communal. And, uh, and I think that that uh, is what a lot of people are looking for these days. Remember, Vermont is also a brand name. So it's really cool to live in Vermont too. I mean, uh, out of the 50 states, Vermont has one of the most iconic brands uh, even today, not just back then, but today as well. So when we, when we think of some of those brands, we think of uh, Cabot and the cheese that comes out of Vermont. We think of Green Mountain or Keurig, which comes out of Vermont. Burton and Burton Snowboards, very famous company, comes out of Vermont and really Manchester, Vermont, uh, which is in our county. Maple syrup, of course, right? This is Merck Forest and the Farmland Center up in Rupert, Vermont, in our county as well. Uh, and, and, and everybody knows Vermont for their maple syrup. Orvis, so if you're a fly fisher person or have ever followed that, uh, Orvis, uh, which does some of the best rods in the world for fly fishing, uh, is right based in Manchester, Vermont, again, in the county. And then probably most recently, Bernie uh, and, and the sitting memes. So uh, Vermont has its brand. It's had a brand for over 240 years, starting with the revolution and the Green Mountain Boys fast forward all the way up to here. So part of the question is, do you wanna to move to Vermont and start a new brand that will add to this slide later? Let's talk a little bit about Southwestern Vermont demographics, okay? So uh, when we think of the county or the shires of Vermont or uh, Southwestern Vermont, that little cutout piece that we showed you in the beginning, we have a population of about 36,000 people and that's based on the 2018 uh, US census um, an area of about 680 square miles. It was founded by Benning Wentworth, who originally founded Bennington, the first shire in 1749. And it was actually the first chartered town in all of Vermont. And then Manchester Village in 1761. Average temp, don't get too spooked by this, 56 and 34. Uh, we definitely have uh, our, our, our fair share of summers and dog days of summer. Uh, it can get up to 80 and 90 here at times. Um, but yes, we do have winter and we still have snow. And so uh, those are the average temps in any given part of the year, average precipitation of 40 inches. Uh, median family income, about $53,000. Median age, 47. Median property value, which has risen over the last couple of months and years to about $209,000. And the average uh, work from home percentage was 9%, I would assume based on COVID all around the world, but especially in Vermont, um, that that number has, has risen. There is a campaign uh, currently going on for uh, Vermont to be the workforce capital of the world, work from home capital of the world. And so um, wouldn't you wanna be fishing on the bat and kill 
in the morning, skiing down a slope in the morning and being able to get to work at, at the comfort of your own home. So uh, again, if you're, if you're a work from home person, the, uh, Vermont may be a very interesting place for you. More uh, uh, statistics and demographics. Uh, median rent, I bet it's about $900 now, that's changed a little bit, but right around 900. Number of employees in the region, hopefully with you joining us, we increase this number, but about 17.5. High school graduation rate, 86%. Um, public television is available in Catamount Access Television or CAT TV as we call it, and that's down in the South Shire, the Bennington area. Uh, or GNAT, uh, Greater North Shire TV as well, and that's up in uh, right outside of Manchester. Uh, very uh, active, very uh, communicative uh, TV stations uh, throughout the county. Our police force uh, is full time in most of the towns. Our uh, emergency uh, and, and rescue squad is full time paid. Uh, fire department is volunteer. So if that's something you've done in your communities and you're interested in, in giving back, uh, definitely always in need of more uh, fire people. Our hospital, uh, there's plenty of, uh, of small uh, physician and health clinics around the county, but our large hospital, about a staff of 1,000 to 1,200 people, Southwestern Vermont Medical Center, it's a four-time magnet award winner, which is all based around nursing and care. It's received many, many awards. It's actually in the running for its fifth uh, magnet award. So uh, very, um, very prominent uh, health care system here in southwestern Vermont. The hospital has also gone above and beyond. We'll talk about it on another slide, but uh, it's gone above and beyond in, it, in that it has invested in downtown as well uh, in multiple different ways. And so uh, not just a health care uh, titan, but also a titan of community development. And so uh, we're excited to have them as partners here in the region. Here's what some uh, people find very attractive. The average commuting time to work is 17 minutes. Uh, and that can be as low as two minutes to five minutes if you're working and living in Bennington and Manchester and you're working in the town that you're in. But even if you had to get from uh, Bennington or Arlington to Manchester, you're looking at about 17 to 20 minutes. Uh, so food for thought for those that um, want to maybe get out of the the... Oh, the uh, backup tr traffic log. Uh, we don't see a whole lot of those here in uh, Vermont. Again, just to kind of orient yourself uh, to the geographic location and, and really uh, as a business person, maybe urban locations as well. So we're about uh, 50 miles or an hour away from the capital region of New York. Think of Albany, Troy, you're about 50 to an hour away from Saratoga Springs too. So if you think about that whole Eastern border of New York, um, those all fit within our county if we were to go across the border. So uh, between the capital region uh, and, and, um, and Saratoga uh, and, and a lot of good commerce that goes over the border as well. So you could work in Albany, live in Vermont or vice versa, or at least have clients and uh, services and products coming from Albany as well. The uh, Albany International Airport, so we do have an international airport about 53 miles away, again, about an hour. So it takes you an hour to get to and from the airport. We also have a Albany Amtrak station, 55 miles, again, about an hour. Um, and that Amtrak station goes all the way into Penn Station. So, um, so yes, you do have direct access to New York City if you need to. Williamstown, which is a, a, a pretty robust, uh, affluent uh, town in Western Massachusetts, famous for its uh, theater festivals, uh, is about 35 miles away or about 20 or 30 minutes, depending on how far you go into Western Mass. Boston is about 165 miles or three hours away. New York City is about 191 miles away or about three and a half, four miles. Again, you could hop on the train, maybe be there faster. Or if you wanna do the, the commute down 87 in New York, that's probably the fastest way. And then all the way over across the border, believe it or not, 
uh, 77 miles away, Keene, New Hampshire. So you're actually faster to get into New York and faster to get into Massachusetts than crossing over. You see that from Bennington to Brattleboro location on that map. Uh, that, and there's a big uh, there's a big mountain in the middle of that mountain range and uh, Mount Snow, so uh, it does it does take a little bit of while to get across Vermont and then into Keene, New Hampshire. And finally, uh, if you want to do international travel, um, Montreal in Canada C Canada is about 250 miles 215 miles away. So um, been up there a couple times myself. So if you are looking for about you know maybe a four hour drive. Uh, four and a half hour drive, Customs, uh, Montreal, Canada is that far away. Here's some interesting numbers. I won't go through all of them, but this just lets you know what are the industries in southwestern Vermont and what are the occupations in southwestern Vermont. Obviously, like I said, uh, healthcare, even social assistance is probably one of our largest manufacturing. This used to be, at least Bennington used to be a textile uh, and mill uh, community. So uh, manufacturing has always been a hub here. Uh, trade and services. Um, most of the region is pretty deep into the tourism and travel industry too. So you see that with accommodations and food services um, and, uh, and some construction and financial uh, insurance, um, but also uh, government. Government uh, is pretty big in Bennington County as well, and especially uh, at the heart of the, of the county, which is Bennington. A lot of management occupations, um, sales related occupations, office administrative work, uh, production obviously with the manufacturing, nursing and leadership within the hospital. Uh, and so you can take a look at this. Again, uh, if you want this slide deck just to kind of review, um, please uh, you know, let me know and I'll send it over to you. Another important thing to think about in your decision of A, I want to move to Vermont and B, where do I want to move in Vermont? Uh, it is important to let you know that Southwestern Vermont has one of the largest downtown development uh, uh, developments going on in the history of Vermont and the largest one, especially to, to date it, that's actually happening. And that's, about, that's an over $60 million downtown investment. And that's where that hospital comes in, but also other financial partners, other organizations and investors all took a look at downtown Bennington and said, we need to transform one whole block in, in a community development block grant. Uh, and, and, and will that transform some of what's going on in Bennington? And so what you see is uh, this was an old uh, hotel on, the, on one of the ends of, of this map, uh, the Hotel Putnam. And then along it have been retail shops, theaters, a courthouse, uh, and so that's being completely rebuilt uh, and it will be creating a vibrant mixed use downtown space with offices in town living restaurants and retail again $60 million on this specific property. Phase one will be in completion right around 2021 I already know some people that are living in the area, uh, this is what's really cool about it. Uh, 29 safe new high quality units mix of market rate and workforce housing so uh, really uh, cool to have a lot of condominiums and places for rent and to own up top on the couple on the on the, the three levels up and then on the bottom uh, retail stores coffee shops restaurants uh, and workspaces so uh, we're pretty excited to see that uh, come out. We'll, we'll probably see more action after the winter and really see that start to open up. There are uh, uh, three to four phases in this. So they'll, they'll finish phase one, which is the outer face, and then some of the more parking lot areas that you see in further down the block will be phase two and three. Um, this has also encouraged more people to invest in downtown Bennington, but also Manchester and other communities as well. But definitely a hyper-focused epicenter on Putnam and, and the surrounding Bennington area. So what we have seen even in the last two years, even in the midst of COVID, uh, a couple breweries open up, a distillery open up, 
former middle school, which is a long, big uh, stretch for middle school, redeveloped, two new parks open, uh, brush manufacturing site has been redeveloped and is being redeveloped. So a lot of things are coming online. And, and if I were to tell anybody about moving to Vermont, moving to Southern Vermont, moving to Bennington, I get in now while most of the housing uh, is cheap and jobs are available because I would predict in the next 12 to 24 months, uh, Bennington is gonna come in as kind of this really hot spot uh, for, uh, for economic growth, community growth, uh, being able to live in Vermont, but travel to those urban centers we just talked about. Finally, uh, you know, I think what makes this area work beyond the development, beyond the statistics I just threw at you, what you will find throughout these 17 collective communities is a lot of partnerships and, and working together. And so whether that's the, the young professional group or our high schools or our learning programs, it might be the Bennington area trail system or recreation, it might be the arts and entertainment that go on here, the library up in Manchester, the, uh, the connector that brings people from this area down in New York City, all that works together, all that's trying to push the region forward. And when you have like-minded, active people at the table working on a region, I think you will find that refreshing. Uh, and so, you know, I encourage you to check out any one of these organizations or other organizations. I couldn't put them all on, on this one slide, but uh, definitely take a look. And some of the best locations to take a look, go to swvtchamber.com if you haven't already, that's our website. Go to explorethesshires.com. When you go to explorethesshires.com, down at the bottom, it'll have a list of all the towns and that'll bring you to the municipalities and the and kind of the, 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 the marketing aspects of each of those towns. And so uh, definitely want you to take a look at that. So one final thought, you decide to move here. Matt, team, how do I get to meet people once I move there? Because that's one of the biggest things, right? I mean, it's, it's maybe not hard to find a house or a job, but really what keep people in Vermont and how do we retain people here is by having you guys meet friends. And so one of the initiatives that we're a part of is the Vermont Welcome Wagon Project. This is where new Vermonters, newly returning Vermonters, existing adult Vermonters, all seeking to get connected to the community. They wanna build great lives and they're invited to participate in this free program. Uh, the participants that go through and you can just go to the website down at the bottom and fill out the form that says, I wanna be connected to two to three local hosts. And those people are trained and know to bring you out to dinner, go for a hike, have a coffee with you, maybe hop on a Zoom call at this point because of COVID, but just to share ideas, our networks, who's, who's the right plumber, who's the best carpenter, where should I send my kid to daycare, uh, we have hosts for that, and it's just our, our Vermont way, our Vermont, our Vermont charm to get you into the community. And so that's, that's our effort and uh, helping you all to figure out Vermont. So with that in mind, I want to thank you for hopping on to this quick presentation. Again, full presentation, uh, the first Friday of every month for 2021. Uh, just click on the form button, fill out the form. You'll be directed to the state website. We have to go through that. Fill out that form. Make sure you hit Southwestern Vermont. That'll boot it back to me. You'll get an email from me that says, here's the link to hop on. That's the next best step. Hopefully when uh, COVID dissipates and we get back to some sort of new normal, we'll start to have our state-to-state -state weekends again too, where you should uh, be booking rooms and coming out to check out Southwestern Vermont and I'll be your personal tour guide. So with that being said, I wanna thank you all for joining me today. Make sure you head on back to this website if you have any questions and or get into contact with me or the team if you have any questions and we're happy to help. Welcome to Vermont. <laughs>